Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, campground tours, to hiking destinations and so much more. Today I'm going to be showing you how I conducted my sea trial for this brand new 2023 Juno NC795. So let's get started. I'm now in the location where I'm going to be conducting my sea trial and just so you know the conditions are the wind is 15 to 20 knots and the sea is 1 to 2 feet. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that everything is running well. So you're going to want to check your gauges. So you have your temperature, oil and battery levels indicated right there and everything seems to be at the right levels. Next, you're going to want to check the reflectiveness through your windshield. Make sure there's no glares that you're not comfortable with and you have great sights. You're going to want to make sure that you can read your electronic display screens in the daylight toward and away from the sun. You're going to want to check to see if the depth finder works as well as your autopilot, navigation systems, and any other features you may have. Right now I'm checking for glares and reflections as I'm heading my boat into the sun. Now I'm doing the opposite, I'm heading away from the sun and looking for glares and reflections. And everything looks pretty good to me. So I'm currently at idle speed, and now if you have a bow thruster, you're gonna to wanna to check that. So first I'm gonna check left. And as you can see, it is moving left. So now I'm gonna check right. And it works pretty well. You're also gonna to wanna to check for airflow, make sure it's comfortable for you. Because this boat is enclosed, I'm not getting that much airflow. I do have the windows open along with the hatch above, and I'm most likely gonna get some fans to increase that airflow in here. You're also gonna wanna make sure that there's no bad smells, such as burning or plastic smells or moldy smells. Now, because the winds today are 15 to 20 knots, there's some pretty rough waters out here. So it's gonna give me a chance to really check out how the boat handles in such rough water. So I'm gonna give it some speed. cruising speed, so let's give it a try.
Now I'm going to see how quickly the boat accelerates and comes to a plane. up and down and see how everything handles. Now I'm going to try to get up to the minimum planing speed. I'm going to get up to speed and do some swerving to see how it handles. pretty well. At 
no wake speeds, you'll want to center your wheel and check to see how well the boat stays in line. The current conditions are 15 to 20 knots for the winds, so it is swerving slightly, but otherwise it's doing pretty well. Now as you're doing your demo, you're going to want to listen for sounds of banging, rattling, vibrations, anything abnormal. In my case, it was pretty windy out, so I did hear some banging and rattling, but otherwise everything's just fine. As you're doing your sea trial, you're going to want to take into account whether you felt comfortable, can you sit back and relax, were there enough handholds, enough cup holders, was everybody comfortable, was it a fun and enjoyable ride? Also, you want to make sure there's enough seating for everyone, and was it a dry ride or a wet ride for these people? When you come back from your sea trial, you want to take into consideration whether your boat was easy to maneuver and dock, whether there were enough cleats in the right spots to tie up your boat. So that pretty much does it for this sea trial. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for many more videos. Bye for now.